Hello all, and welcome to Wayne's Allotment. Right, hello again. Uh, so what have I got for you this time round? Well, as you've seen in those opening uh, photographs, uh, we've had a lot of rain and it's caused a lot of localised flooding. Uh, that cycle path, I do have to travel along that to and from work. Um, I've also, in this video, uh, got some seedlings that uh, I want to pot on. So we get and do that bit of a job and being the time of year that it is um, and everything's starting to finish off in the greenhouses uh, I get and clear greenhouses out and I'll show you what I do with regards to uh, cleaning them out uh, and washing them down putting basically putting them to bed for winter um, I'd like to thank everybody that first and foremost watches my videos um, everybody that likes comments subscribes and please remember that when you subscribe uh, if you just uh, hit the bell that will then mean you'll get notification every time I post a new video uh, so without further ado let's crack on thanks a lot Right, well I've got a bit of a disaster to uh, show you. Um, well, I'll turn round and show you what I'm on about. These are my Charlotte Christmas potatoes. And as can be seen, I don't know whether this is frost, blight or what. Um, it seems to have just affected tips more than anything so I'm going to cut off these more affected forms and we'll see how we go as I say I don't know whether it's frost whether it's blight uh, but it certainly doesn't look very good at all and um, especially when you look See how brown that's all gone. I think it's blight. Um, and considering this is what the date today is the 20th of October. So I honestly wouldn't have thought we'd have had we'd have had any more blight or anything at all, but I could be proved wrong. Right, uh, I'm out here in the greenhouse. Uh, and I've got some larkspur giant imperial these um, were sown 23rd of the 8th uh, I'm going to pop these on I think there's uh, I only want about a dozen I'm going to put some in the garden and I'm going to put some in round on the allotment um, these have been in the greenhouse here under a propagator cover they've had a small propagator cover on them um, and not, I think they don't look too bad in fact they're just starting to fade a little with the colour which is telling me they've about run out of nutrients in this little tray so it's time to get them potted on so we'll get on with that job now 
Right, Larkspur, Giant Imperial, we'll get these potted up. Be nice to see what the roots are like on these. Quite a good, uh, quite a good root system on these. I'm going to pot up about a dozen. That's all. I'm not going to do do a lot. I want a few, as I've said, just for going out on the allotment. A few for going out. in the garden these will go straight back well I'll stay in the greenhouse here now until probably until we start to get some the first signs of frosts and such like because I've got some grow lights they can go under then so I'll get on with this job and I'll bring you back when I'm finished so there we have it, there's 15 there, that will be more than enough for what I want. Um, they'll stay in the greenhouse here now with a propagator top over them. Uh, once we start to get any uh, inkling of frosts and so on, they'll be moved indoors and they may possibly go under my grow lights, I don't know yet. Um, so we'll uh, we'll see 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 what I decide to do at the time. But yes, that's uh, Larkspur Giant Imperial all potted on. Right, next part of the process, uh, I'll show you rather than and tell you, of course. Uh, all pots cleared out. This is all wood chip down both sides here. I've um, raked it through just to level it through a bit and make it look something like. I've then got in this witch's cauldron, quite appropriate I suppose, coming up to uh, Halloween. Uh, in there is a bucket of hot water with bleach some jay's fluid and a little bit of sif <laughs> so, so I'm either gonna clean this place kill something maybe myself I don't know uh, I'm uh, gloved up ready to <laughs> just in case because you, you never know with these chemicals that we're using um, so yes I'm gonna set to and uh, give this all a wash down
right we're all done all washed down inside and out uh, the floor the white bits you can see all over the floor that is because I've tipped the contents of the bucket onto the floor to kill any creepy crawlies any nasties and wait for this but household management i.e. my wife has suggested I go over it with this we use this to clean the windows I'll admit inside and out because that's obviously what it's designed for but when uh, when you get the go ahead from household management to uh, try and clear any watery residue off here it's doing a good job as well <laughs> hey well I've got a foot of our stairs so there we go so without me boring you to death with regards the using this window vac thing uh, we'll leave it at that and as you can see we're all done inside and out uh, and that's all to been put to bed for next year the green greenhouse next door that has all been done outside um, and it's looking you're not gonna believe this you're gonna you know but it's looking you can see over there some black menacing clouds so I'm hoping it's going to absolutely hiss, 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 hiss in it down can you see look yeah, so I'm hoping it's gonna throw it down because that'll help to <laughs> help to wash all the stuff off the outside of the greenhouses so there we have it that's uh, the greenhouses or this one anyway cleaned inside and out ready for next year well that's the end of that one um, that which is brewer put together it's really cleaned up the uh, the greenhouses no end um, I must admit I'm really pleased with with that everything's gleaming nice and clean <laughs> the only downside is man does that Jay's fluid stink it really has got a smell all of its own um, thank you all very much for watching please like comment and subscribe uh, and until the next time take care and look after yourselves thanks a lot <laughs>